Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. In uh, this lecture, I have to uh, give some uh, explanation about the uh, DHCP version 6. Actually, not only the DHCP version 6, but about uh, the assignment of the IP version 6 address. So let's say that you have a uh, computer or a router that uh, is working on the, we want it to work on the IP version 6 and uh, it needs to get the uh, IP version 6 uh, with the prefix, uh, also uh, the uh, gateway, the DNS and so forth. So how this can happen? So the dynamic, this was what we call it the global unicast address. So the dynamic global unicast address assignment. So how can a router, a PC, any device on IP version 6 can receive this information from a router, which is a Cisco router. So we have two ways to, for this to work. We have the stateless and we have the stateful. Now, when I was speaking uh, about the IP version 6, I have showed you about the stateless on the Slack. So how Slack work. All right, so we have also made the configuration for, for that. But now I just want to dig more in details about all those options, which is the stateless and the stateful uh, dynamic uh, assignment for the uh, global unicast address on IP version 6. So if you look for the stateless way, we have what is called the Slack. So Slack means that the router will send a router advertisement to provide IP version 6 address, prefix slash and default gateway. So what does it mean here? If we think that we have this is a router and we have here a switch and we have here a computer. So the computer first would send something we call it when it's uh, we just powered on. We send we send something. It's called uh, the uh, router solicitation, and that's something I'm going to explain to you about it in a moment. So the router solicitation. So the router will receive. The router is configured to be Slack. Okay. So what it does, it will send the router advertisement. All right. It will send the router advertisement. Then this PC can receive IP address, the gateway, the prefix, and all of those information for IP version 6. So it doesn't work here as a stateful. So that means it doesn't keep record of what was this has received. So it's not like what we have seen on the DHCP version 4, that we have a pool, and this pool provides the IP addresses, and then it keeps a record for the assignment. So that's something that doesn't happen when we work on Slack. All right, so that's the first type that we have on the state list, which is Slack. Let's see the second one, which is the Slack with DHCP server, or what normally we call it stateless DHCP version 6. So the stateless DHCP version 6, the router will send the router advertisement to host to inform them to contact a stateless DHCP version 6 server for additional information. That means the host will use the router advertisement to create the global unicast address and get additional information from the DHCP server. What does it mean here? Let's think again, we have this router and this is connected to a switch and this is connected to a computer. All right, so let's imagine now that the router has already sent the router advertisement. So the router and his router advertisement, we are going to see what is the router advertisement in a moment. But inside his router advertisement, we will say, okay, I'm using now stateless DHCP server or dislike with DHCP server. So that means he will say to the PC, you can provide to yourself the global unicast address as with the Slack. So you just put the IP address and the prefix that I'm giving to you. You can use them. But for additional information, like the DNS, for example, then you have to get it from the DHCP server. So we have to think that this switch here is connecting here a DHCP server. So he will say to the PC that if you want to get, for example, additional information like the DNS, then you have to contact the DHCP server, then he can provide this for you. So that's what's called the stateless DHCP version 6 or Slack with DHCP server. So that means it will be used like Slack to get the IP version 6 assignment. So he will use that. 
And for the, any additional information, like the DNS, for example, he will be get, getting that from a DHCP server version 6, and then he has to contact the, to it to get those additional information. All right, so we have finished from the state list. So we have the Slack, and we have the Slack with the DHCP server. So this is all goes under the stateless. So you see that we don't have like a DHCP server we have on the uh, IP version 4 that it is responsible for distributing the IP, the subnet match, the gateway, the, the DNS, the domain name and so forth. So when you speak about stateless, then we are, don't have that. So only when we use the Slack with the DHCP server, so it will get all the information from the router advertisement that it has received from the router and uh, for any additional adver advertisement he will have to contact the DHCP server. Now if you look to the stateful, so stateful you have to think of it as like really the DHCP uh, on the uh, version 4 which is on the IP version 4. All right so what happens here this is called DHCP server version 6 server or stateful DHCP version 6 then the router will send the router advertisement to host, informing them to contact a DHCP server, which is version 6, to get all information except the gateway address. So then the host contact the DHCP version 6 server to get their uh, IP version 6 uh, addressing information. So what does it mean here? Let's think that we have this router. It's connected to a switch. This switch is connected to a computer. And we have on also the same network, we have a DHCP, that is a DHCP version 6. So after the PC has sent the router solicitation saying that, hey, I want uh, information for IP version 6, then the router will send the router advertisement. All right, so you say, hello, I'm sending you router advertisement. In case you want to get uh, this information, like the IP address, the uh, prefix, the DNS, uh, then you can or you have to contact the DHCP version 6 server. But only, and that's what it's saying here, the default gateway. So the default gateway, you don't have to contact the DHCP version 6 because you get it from me. So he will give him the default gateway. But for the rest, the IP address assignment, like uh, IP version 6, the prefix, the uh, DNS, the domain name, or whatever, he has to contact the DHCP version 6. And that's what is the stateful. So you can see on IP version 6, there is different ways that uh, to uh, get assigned the IP version 6 addresses. We have the Slack, we have the stateless DHCP version 6, and we have the stateful DHCP version 6. So I'm going to show you with labs about the, the uh, different uh, types. The Slack, I'm not going to do it because I have already done it when I was speaking on the section about the IP version 6. I have already spoken about Slack and I made the lab to show you how to make it. But I'm going to do a lab for this one and I'm going to do a lab for this one. Now, when I was saying that uh, when the computer is turned on, he has to send an a router solicitation and the router will send him a router advertisement and he say in the router advertisement whether to use the slack or to use the stateless DHCP version 6 or the stateful. So how this happen? Actually there is the router advertisement and router solicitation they use the ICMP version 6 and inside this there is three different flag when we are talking now about the router advertisement so let's say this computer has turned on he will send a router solicitation he will say hello i need really ip addresses the prefix uh, the uh, default gateway and so forth so we send that as a multicast because on ip version 6 we don't have any more broadcast on multicast using this ip which is ff02 colon colon 2 so this goes as multicast. All right. Now this router, when he receive it, he has to send back the router advertisement and he will send it on this address FF02 column column one. All right. So that's very important to remember. Also, it's a multicast address. Now on the router advertisements, there are 
flags. So all these are ICMP version 6, by the way. So there are flags. That's very important to remember. We have flag, which is A, O, and M. Okay? We have A, we have O, we have M. Once the router advertisement is sent, and it has on its flag A, so when it's sent as flag A, that means that the address is auto configuration. That means what? To use Slack. So that means that you have to use Slack. So he's saying to this computer that you have to use Slack. And Slack, that's something we have seen it over here, which is, well, as you can read it again, the router send router advertisement to provide IP version 6 address, prefix length, and default gateway. So the host will use the router advertisement information to create their addressing. So once you want, the, or you have create, configured your router over here to act as a Slack, then he will send the router advertisement as a reply with the flag of A, then the computer here knows that a Slack, and then he will get the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default uh, route from this router as a Slack. Okay, so that's very important to know because the flags are very important to uh, identify what type of uh, IP uh, version 6 assignment are we getting. Now, if the router advertisement is answered back with a flag of A and O, so it means this flag and this flag, so A and O, this means what? O, let, we know already, already about the A, but O means other configuration flag. That means stateless DHCP server is used to cre create the IPv6 global unicast address. So here, that means we configure the router to say that the, uh, to be able to get the IP address of IPv6, the prefix, the uh, gateway, and so forth, then you have to use the stateless DHCP version 6, stateless and not stateful, that means what? If we uh, remember what we, I have explained before, that he will get the, uh, the IP version 6 and the prefix uh, as normal f as the Slack, but for other information like the DNS, it has to look to a DHCP version 6 server. So once you have the flag AO, that means you, we are using the DHCP version 6 stateless. And now finally, when we have the flag, which is M, M flag means managed address configuration flag, then stateful DHCP version 6 server is being used to get an IP version 6 address. So in this case, once the RA is uh, sent with a flag of M, then in this case, we have to uh, say to the uh, host, or this is what it says to the host, that you have to get your information from the DHCP version 6 address, but not the gateway, because the gateway will be provided from the router. So you have to find a DHCP server uh, and then to be able to get all your information. So then this is when you have a flag M. So as a summary, we have flags A, O, and M. So once a computer is powered on or any other device, maybe also another router, which is acting as the DHCP client, then he will send a router solicitation saying, I need IP addressing on version uh, IP version 6 and all the other information. Then it's sent via multicast on the uh, uh, address FF02 colon colon 2. So that means to all routers. Now, the router which he receive it, then he will send a, a router advertisement. Inside the router advertisements, there are flags. In case inside uh, the router is configured as a stateless or Slack uh, uh, router, then he will have the flag of A. A means uh, auto configuration, it's address auto configuration. That means he will say to the host, you have to use Slack. Then in case it is A and O, then it is uh, going to use the DHCP version six stateless, all right? And in case it is the flag M, then it's saying to the host that you have to find a DHCP server to be able to get all the information from them, but not the gateway, all right? So this is what I wanted to explain to you about uh, the uh, theory on the DHCP version 6. Now I'm going to start uh, in the upcoming lecture to do labs to show you how we can configure the uh, router to be 
a uh, stateless DHCP version 6 and also how to configure it to be a stateful DHCP version 6. So I hope that uh, this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.